I'm now joined by United match winner Scott Bowden. Scott, what's your <laughs> reaction to that? Exhausted, probably. <laughs> um, now it's like I've just said to you, my voice is going, everyone's obviously going mental. And it's been a couple of few times since I've been here, like we've scored a few late goals, but that, I think that just had a little bit more, for some reason, a little bit, everyone went mental. So, um, but obviously buzzing for tonight, but we've got to obviously think then Saturday now. How do you reflect on tonight's performance? Because it was all going so well uh, yeah. early on, obviously went a goal up. Uh, all shot equalised straight yeah. after almost. And although we thought that they might have gone to go for the win as they're yeah. going for the playoffs, they seemed to be content for a point and uh, that made things frustrating at times, didn't it? Yeah, I think they were, they were more than happy with a point, I think. And I've just walked past one of their, I don't know if it were a player or a member of staff, and he said we'd have took a point. Um, so, I mean, you could tell as soon as they scored they were slowing it down. And um, But like I say, we started bright, I thought, first 15, 20 minutes um, we were getting the ball forward fast and into our feet up top and me and Bill were linking up a bit and probably Bill will hold his hands up like I will for my chance and probably should have bagged one or two um, but look it's um, at the end of the day it's uh, we've won and um, yeah that's that's the the main thing. And you probably possessed the coolest head inside play more tonight because obviously it was going to be you that was going to take the penalty so <laughs> one minute have that taken away from you and then just seconds later to notch the winner Says a lot for uh, Calm's head under pressure. Couldn't believe it. I've, I've never ever I've played professional football now for 15 years or something, and I have never ever seen anything like it. Um, his reasoning, apparently, I, I haven't heard it off himself, but his reasoning where the ball was out of play when Connor got the contact, which is, um, I, I, like I said, I've never heard it before, but I was fuming at that. Because uh, obviously, like you say, I'm going to take the pen and I'm confident enough to, to put it away, but. Thankfully, Rans has whipped another ball in, which he did on Saturday for me as well, to be fair, and I should have bagged that. Um, but luckily this time it's a little glance and it's gone in. Now, we'll enjoy tonight's result, but obviously nothing's won yet. And no. we've got a big weekend ahead of us uh, with Eastley at home and then, of course, yeah. the trip to Chesterfield on Monday. Yeah. Um, yeah. All trying to sort of keep our feet on the ground at the moment, isn't it? You've got to. You've got to. Um, we've, some of the lads have been in this boat before. I've been in it before when I was younger. And, it, 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 everyone says it, it's a cup final at a time and I think that's why everyone it was like probably that release that buzz, that adrenaline of, of getting that last minute winner and it's there is nothing better than a last minute winner um, but like you say we buzz off it now, we've had a little moment in the changing room but come come tomorrow recovering and uh, we've got to think again about like say Eastley on Saturday and we, we need to, to back this up again well, Scott, thank you for joining us and congratulations on the top man. Top man. Cheers, mate. Top man.